I'm Barbara Salmon and I'm the Senior Nursing Supervisor at Medical Associates Hospital. I'm stationed on the first floor. In this room, the patient is usually nursed with ventilatory support. It can be that the patient needs more support than we can offer on the regular ward. Once the patient is being nursed in this room, then they are nursed by a special trained nurse who is called a critical care nurse. These nurses, they have done the critical care course and are licensed to practice as critical care nurses. When this room is being used as a high dependency unit, there are certain machines that must be in this room. Okay, we have here the Omni Monitor. This is a machine that can give details of the patient's blood pressure. It shows a tracing of the patient's heart rate and um, it will show the tracing like you're doing an ECG. It also gives detail of the patient's oxygen saturation, the temperature and the respiration. We have here an infusion pump and this pump will monitor the amount of IV fluid that the patient is getting. So say for example, the patient is to get a thousand mils of fluid over 10 hours, we can set the pump at the rate where it will go at 100 mils per hour, all right? And this is very critical because it will help us to keep accurate check of the patient's intake. This is very critical because for a patient who is critically ill, strict intake and output is of vital importance. In the eye dependency unit, there must be provisions for suctioning. So here we have a suction machine, and what this does is that um, we use it to remove unwanted secretions. It can be secretions that is down the endotracheal tube, and that's the tube that goes um, to which the patient is attached to the machine or it can be just secretions that is in the patient's mouth. Beside the suction machine we have a nebulizer and um, this is used to for patients who, who need to get Ventolin or Atrovent and um, if they're having bronchospasm. We have here a ventilator, and this ventilator can be used in an ICU setting, okay? So we'll start, and this ventilator is made up in such a way that it can be used not only to ventilate the patient, but just in case the patient needs like um, some CPAP, just positive pressure, then it can be set in that mode. As you see here, The bag is inflating and deflating according to the settings that the ventilator is placed on. So it's taking breaths and it will, well, it, it is mimicking the action of taking breaths just like what it will do for a patient who's been nursed on the ventilator. Once it's been used, then it will be connected to the oxygen directly. What you just saw are some of the equipments that we use in our eye dependency unit. I urge all of you, come to Medical Associates Hospital. This is where we deliver excellent nursing care and we ensure that at all times that we exceed the expectations of our patients.